And see, like, we already know, we already know that even though we can disagree, we can also get along. And I indeed, think the theme indeed. of today's show, the theme of today's show, it sounds like it's going in this direction. You go back to the early 1990s, Rodney King talking to a nation that had just witnessed the Los Angeles riots and Rodney King looking around and he's wondering about how everything was on fire and people were, people were literally and figuratively on fire. And Rodney King said, yeah. can't we all just get along? That's the theme of today's show. Can't we all just get along? Answer is no. Answer no, we it cannot. Ain't, it ain't gonna happen. It just ain't gonna happen. It, we can try. It ain't gonna happen. We can strive, but and, yeah. So, like, what do you read from from Lauren Holiday's take? Lauren Holiday is is actually just just putting it out there, and she's not the first. Certainly won't be the last. Yeah. Um, she's saying they didn't. The, the the corporate structure known as the Milwaukee Bucks didn't show them any type of any, any type of personal respect and did not uh, think about their humanity before they made this move. What do you think? Well, you know, they didn't, but the reason they didn't is because it's a business. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like Drew Holiday gave the answer as we just saw in this little presser. He gave the answer that he, he gave like the politically correct answer. He gave the, you know, you know, there's always a silver lining answer. I think his wife gave more so of the real answer of how they're all feeling, especially how they felt uh, in that organization. Like they went to go get this dude to help Giannis win the championship. And like she said, you know what I'm saying? They was doing things in their community. You know, you when you got kids, you got them in schools, you got them in functions. So they got friends and then you build personal relationships with people off the court that's you know what I'm saying? That's not just basketball. So I think her answer was more so like the real human answer. And Drew Holiday answer was more so like, I'm an athlete. This is what we do. This is the business, yada, yada, yada. But I, I'm, I'm certain that he feels more like how his wife does at this point. Yeah. And you know what, Lawrence, great point. Exactly. No, he's used to it. Like she, she shares her perspective on Instagram, but we don't go to Lauren Holiday. As a matter of fact, I didn't know if you just asked me off the top of his head or most, most NBA players or professional athletes, uh, what's his wife's name? If the, if, if the wife is not, you know, famous, Savannah. you ask me Jay-Z's. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Jay-Z's wife. I know Jay-Z's wife. I know Steph Curry's wife, but right. for the most part, you don't know. So she is used to sharing her opinion. In, in circles that are much smaller than the ones that, yeah, yeah. that that reach us. You know, we don't we don't talk about the wives, but I think uh, he's used to just kind of playing both of those, uh, like having his feet in both of those worlds where he yeah. can talk in the press conference and say, yeah, I know what y'all want to hear. I'm in a press conference. I'm reading the room. There are banners yeah. up here. They got 17 banners up here. Everybody in the room wearing green and white. Everybody. Damn. Right, right. And, um, that, and that's the other thing too, like that's okay. Giannis' partner right there. That's right. Giannis boy, right? So they said they ain't even tell him. They ain't even tell Giannis because it was like, if you tell Giannis, then we're going to have even more trouble doing this. So they just more like, we going to just, we know we need to do to try to win. We just going to do this with our eyes closed real quick, right? And don't even tell Giannis. So that that was, they, that's what they felt was the best. But, you know, it's always two sides to it. Like, if you feel like sometimes you might feel like, and it's just in general, you feel me? Like, you might feel like mm -hmm. you make a great move, but it's going to have some type of impact on yes. the other side, positive or negative. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely, Lawrence. Now, look, uh, guys, I know I'm putting you on the spot. Can you go back to that, the, the, uh, the picture? The IG with the picture of uh, the whole community out there, and Lauren has her writing. So that, you know, it's, she had a great line in there, that image, where it says, being vulnerable... Uh, being vulnerable helps me heal. Be but being vulnerable helps me heal. This isn't new. We've been traded before. Each time we felt something different, but this time it crushed me. Woo! It, it, yeah. it crushed me. She said, now look, Lawrence, I'm going to tell you what I, if we, since we're being real, we're not going to play the PC game. We don't have to do that on Brother right. from Another. If you're listening on Sirius XM Channel 85, we appreciate you watching on YouTube 
uh, Peacock TV, where, however you're consuming, we really appreciate it. Um, so we're not doing the PC thing. I see two things here. One that I'll bet Lauren Holiday will say out loud, and the other one, I don't know if the holidays want to go here. One is that corporate America didn't think it through. Corporate America was not sensitive. Corporate America was not empathic. It was just strictly business. Okay, you're yeah. traded. Your contract says you can be traded, so it matches up. Okay, see you later. We got Dame Lillard. We're good. You helped us win a championship in 2021. That's over. Now we're moving on, trying to win another one. Thanks. Thanks so much. Nice parting gifts uh, as you exit stage left. Okay, she got that part. Here's the other part, Lawrence. Why? Why? Why was Dame Lillard traded to Milwaukee in the first place? Because that was not his first choice. As a matter of fact, he didn't want to go there. Milwaukee was not in the conversation until Giannis spoke mm. up. Yeah. And start, start throwing some stuff out there. Hey, listen, if I can't win a championship, yeah. that's right. Um, so, like, it wasn't clear enough communication. If Giannis felt that way, he could have. I don't know if he did, but he maybe could have gone to the uh, management and said, "Look, I, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Just between us, I don't think. I don't think Middleton has it anymore. But Drew, Drew's a real one. I." Yeah, yeah. I yeah. want Drew on my team, but anybody else y'all can go with. He didn't say that. He he threw it out there that if they don't make upgrades, yeah, he, they don't he show him said, their championship roster. Yeah, he just so said he, by any means necessary. So he kind of made it happen. Is it fair to say that he kind of made this happen? <laughs> One, it's man, easy. definitely, <laughs> you know? dog, definitely. And like right. you mentioned earlier, like you mentioned earlier, he Drew Holiday obviously helped him. Uh, when the NBA championship was a very important piece, especially defensively, right? But that's 2021. You know, they couldn't advance in the playoffs this past season. So, you know, something had to change. And Giannis made that known loud and clear. And because he didn't, you know, because he didn't name names and, you know, keep players off limits, so Milwaukee like, all right, well, you know, this what you want. We got to We going to get right. one of them dudes and that's Dame. So whether it's going to work out or not, they had to change it up based off of, uh, of what Giannis said. But I think I think this is something that we need to keep in perspective when we talk and, it, and it's I know we're guilty of it. Everybody's guilty. I'm guilty of it. When we talk about trades, hey, trade Dame. Uh, trade. Hey, w would you trade Giannis for this? Would you trade LeBron if the team is not doing well? We just throw it out there without really thinking about the impact. I got it. Yes. So thank yes. you, Lauren Holiday, for that lesson. It's an important lesson. I'm serious. Hey, thank you for watching Brother from Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.